Hi, I'm Jeffrey Moss on assignment for Pottery Barn's summer season. Relatively few people know that because of printing deadlines, Pottery Barn's outdoor furniture collections are shot during winter. It becomes crucial then to find locations that stay green all year long. This year, Pottery Barn chose spots in South Florida for its sun-kissed splendor. So we're here in Coral Gables, Florida. The main reason that Pottery Barn selected this region for shooting its outdoor collections is the architecture in Coral Gables, and then it's all of this. You know, most of the homes that Pottery Barn's art director selected to shoot at had these very, very lush backyards. You know, some of the homeowners would take a very large tree and then would wire the orchid to the tree and then the orchid would kind of take over. My wife likes to call that robing the trees. Robing, it's so, very appropriate. So you have yeah. the, the naked tree and what yeah. you do is, is you clothe it. You give it something to wear, you, you dress it up. Pottery Barn stylists are always tasked with sourcing props that will lend authenticity to any given season. Shooting for summer means finding objects that live well outdoors or bring the outdoors in. And for me, that means a big nod to summer reading. We have probably five, six hundred author events a year. Yeah, that's more than yeah, one a day. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, what we've always tried to do over the years is have bookstores community center. It really yeah. is a third place, you know, yeah. besides work and home. Yeah. You have your bookstore. I'm going to share with you my favorite discovery uh, in terms of antique shopping. I'm at Stone Age Antiques. As you can see, this place is more than chock full of, of stuff. This, the, uh, the things in this store have been accumulating for years. And this is my favorite kind of store sometimes. A lot of the great kind of weathered things you find are in stores like this. This would make a great collection. You can imagine like a stairwell or something and you just kind of fill the stairwell with these half boat models that have been mounted and framed. Old trunks, lots of old trunks. Old nautical painting. Don't even have to frame it. An old puffer fish. Be careful, it might prick you. More model ships. There's an old sailboat. Here's a kind of a schooner type of thing with this beautiful dark wood case. Wow, an entire bin full of pulleys. One of these or three of them. Clean them up, set them on your coffee table. Look at this bottle. This is a fantastic piece. Pottery Barn's Florida photo crew was especially lucky to escape winter and stay at the inspiring and historic Biltmore Hotel. The Biltmore was actually built by George Merrick, who was also the founding father of Coral Gables. This really does feel like a step back in time. Certainly. This is a very old building for Miami's standards, um, and it really does have a rich history. It was used as a veterans hospital during the Second World War. Look at this gorgeous mm -hmm. view of the Biltmore. This is fantastic. Yeah. And it really showcases that um, beautiful turn mm -hmm. in the building. I bet you have a fantastic view from up there of the entire area. Do you want to go and look? Yeah. OK, let's I go. I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> I just so happen to have the key. Fantastic. <laughs> I see it with really random people that I meet that they talk about the Biltmore and they have a story or they have a feeling or they have a memory, so yeah. it's really special. A story or a feeling or a memory, mm -hmm. I love that, because I, I feel like I have all three of those things. 